uh, man of the match, Harare King's victory over Gladiators. Congratulations. Uh, first of all, uh, how was that knock? Where would you rank that knock in terms of your knocks in Zimbabwe? Up there. Top three easily. Um, it was tough, you know, because sun was beating down and required a lot of concentration. Um, but I thought I stuck it out there till the end. And, you know, you go through those patches where it gets tricky. But I stuck it out, like I said. And, yeah, it was a very satisfying knock because I didn't give it away. So I managed to carry my bat, which doesn't happen often. So, like I said, I feel like my top three knocks so definitely. Didn't give away too many chances is something that you're learning, for example, abroad? Um, yeah, it's just focus, you know. You learn your processes, you, you know what makes you tick. And every ball I was trying to reset so I didn't lose my focus. And lucky for me today, I managed to do that for a long period of time. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was good to have a pretty chanceless innings. And doing against a form team, they just won three on the bounce? Um, you know, I don't look at that too much. I just look at the bowlers. You, you, you're facing the ball at the end of the day. Um, you know, if they show up in the day, good for them. But, um, yeah, just keep it simple as I can. Watch the ball. doesn't matter who you're playing against. How important do you feel that getting that score was uh, for you being able to defend a, a sizable total in the end? Yeah, I think in the context of the game, um, it was a match-winning knock. Um, a few boys obviously supported me along the way. Um, yeah, it could have been a different story if I went out early. Um, who knows what we would have scored, but I think putting that sort of total on the board, you know, the scoreboard pressure, so I think, I think it helped our team's morale in the field because we had, we had a big score to defend. From your debut in, for Eagles in 2014 or so, uh, how do you feel about uh, the type of... I know this is just still club cricket, but the kind of opposition you face at the moment. I was impressed, you know, there's some good bowlers dotted around. Um, and yeah, from from where I was, I don't. I think the bowling's still strong, you know. It's just, for anyone coming into the team, it's just about knowing a game and learning. And like in the last five years, I've learned a lot about my cricket. So I don't think um, anything's changed. I think, like I said, a really good standard of cricket and there's a lot of good players around. So it's good to see that Zimbabwe's still producing good players. And finally, before you go, uh, in as far as uh, getting a second win, uh, going out on a big blast, uh, uh, in as far as this tournament is concerned, uh, is this? Uh, do you feel like this is a present for Kings, putting uh, you know, a faith in you, and as, as far as uh, integrating you into the team? Um, yeah, I'd say so. And we've got the Vine, com the Vine Cup coming up next week, so hopefully we can carry that form into the Vine Cup. Um, you know, it's better late than never. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the boys have got their tails up, so you know, it's exciting. The next few games are very exciting. Like I guess it's so hopefully we can carry the momentum going forward. All the best. Cool. Thank you. Cheers.